you are welcome to my channel in this video we want to construct an ellipse but the method of construction we'll be using will be focal point method and the question goes like this it says draw an ellipse with a major axis of 150 millimeter and a minor axis of 100 millimeter by focal point method like i always tell you take your t-square or your rule you draw an horizontal line this way right then you take your t-square or your rule and you draw a line that is going to pass through um, the horizontal line to so where they meet will be termed the center right now since we are giving a major axis of 150 you take half of it which is what 75 so i'm going to measure half of it and this will be what 75 from zero and this is 70 75 here right and i'll place it at the center here now i'm going to mark towards the left the 75 towards the right and there's what 75 so a b will be um my major axis now for the minor axis we are given to be 100 so I'll take half of it which is 50 half of 100 is 50 so from 0 through down to 5 right i'm going to measure from this point up and down i see that so this will give me my c and my point what point d is that the key now the next thing i can do i can actually enlarge it you can see that now the next thing is to get my focus so i'm going to place it at the center here to point a right now i place that point c where i'll get a line this way and i'll get another line this way i also place it at d which is not necessary where it bisects and it bisects so that point where they meet this point here i'll call it my f1 and I'll call this here my what? My F2. You can see that? Now the next thing is you're going to divide between F1 and F2 into either 8, either 10, either 12. As long as the division is even number, you can divide. But I'll divide mine into 8, right? First of all, if I measure here this way, let's see if we can do that from here to here. So you see that it's giving us more of uh, an even number. So I'll use my line division method. At any given angle here, I'm going to draw a line. Right? So I'll draw a line at any given distance. You can see that? And I'll take my compass and I'm going to mark it on that line. So from here, this will be 1. This will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 4, this will be 5, 6, 7, and what? And 8. Just like I showed you in the previous video, you connect the last point to the last point here. That you want to measure. No, you're looking to want to divide F1 to F2. So you connect the last point to the point you want to divide. So if I place it this way, I'll connect to the last point here. You can see that? And I'll draw. Once I've draw, I'll hold it down. I'll take my metal roof, place it at the side. You can see that? So when I do that, I will now hold here down. Then I'll start moving. So when I move it to the next point, I'm going to draw. I'll move it to the next point. 
be sliding it. I'm going to draw. I'm going to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move it to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move it to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move it to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move it to the next point. I'm going to draw. And this is all we have. Alright? So I can start. My calling here to be it should be one, it should be two, it should be three, it should be four, start going back again, three, two, one, and my focus is just six is point zero. You can see that now the next thing I'm going to do is this. Next thing I'll do is this. I'm going to take From A one, right? You can see that, and I'll place it at F. I'll strike an arc up and down. You can see that. I'll come here also. I'll do that up and down. Can you see? I will not take it from that same one to B. I mm -hmm. will not place that F2. I will cut here and I will cut here. I will turn it again at F1. I will cut here and I will cut here. So those two points will be a point. That I'll be needing. I'll call it. You can see that. Similarly, I'll come to A two. Right. I'll place it at F. I'll strike up, and I'll strike down. I'll come to F here also. I'll strike up. Now strike down. Then I'll come to two and B. Two and what and B. I'll come to F. I'll cut this and I'll cut this. I'll turn it again to F2. I'll cut this. And I'll cut this. So this is another point. Here, 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 and here. I'll come again. A three. A three. I'll come to F one. I'll strike up. And I'll strike down. I'll come to F2, I'll strike up and I'll strike down. Right? Then I'll come to 3 and B. I'll come to F, I'll strike up to cut that, I'll strike down to cut that. I'll turn it to F2, I'll strike up to cut here, I'll strike down to cut here. Those points are another point I'll be needing. Then the last point, I just want to do it. It's already there, which is point C. I don't have to necessarily do it. It's already to percent through point C. Or if I want to just move, I'll just say A and what and 4. Then I'll place it at what at F. I'll cut up, I'll cut down. I'll come to F2, press the same thing, I'll cut up and I'll cut down. You can see? So I'll use my French curve to join those points together. Like I have said, you target 
B and C this way and you start moving it until you get exactly what you want this is what I want here I'll just draw this to B like that and I'll turn it the other way around I'll target A and C until I get the entire point that I want mm. To get the entire point I want, I see that. Then I'll be having that. You will have that. I'll come again. I'll turn it this way. Targeting D and A from here to here. We we'll say that uh, to probably know what we want. So we're getting there. This is what we have here. Then I'll turn it this way. I do the same thing, B and D. Targeting B and D. Make sure that you've got in everything that you need. B and D. You see that? This is what we have here. So we have um, we produced the uh, ellipse using your focal points method. Most times you might be told to draw the tangent and the normal, but if you're not told, this is what you're going to submit. But if you are told, this is Work is easier because we already have the focal point. You just connect it to any of these two points here. This is F1. And this is F2 to any point on that curve. Then you place your compass at this point. And you draw an arc this way. See that so where they meet if you like an extent so where they meet you strike an arc this is here you also strike another arc so at that point you draw a line that will pass through the center here so from here to here is ticking I see that when I told you earlier that I can decide to take the line of two and make sure it's lapping with this. Let's draw. So you can see that. So this is what we call the tangent. This is what we call the normal. All together. So we have um, successfully reproduced the figure so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thanks for watching